Hello and welcome to my presentation on the benefits of avocados and why you should eat this superfood. My name is Katie Channel and I am currently a dietetic intern at the U Chicago Medicine Ingalls Memorial Hospital. I am currently in my dietetic internship and I will eventually be a registered dietitian in which I can help people eat a little healthier in their life and help them eat more fruits and vegetables. Today, I wanna to talk about avocados and I'm gonna give you a little background information on avocados and then we'll get into the health benefits and ways you can eat avocados. Avocados are from South Central Mexico between 5,000 and 7,000 BC. Later, they were cultivated around the world and the U.S., predominantly in Florida and California in the U.S. An avocado is actually called a berry and because it does contain one single large seed. An avocado tree is able to produce about 200 pounds of avocados each year. That's about 500 avocados per tree. The top world producers include Mexico, which is the largest, Indonesia, United States, and also Colombia. There are hundreds of different types and varieties of avocados, but the most common that you will see in the grocery store in the United States are called the Fuerte and also Haas. Gwen and Pickerton are also very common types of avocados, but when you are purchasing avocados in the grocery store here in the United States, you will, say for, you will see Fuerte and Haas avocados. In the U.S., the production, California produces about 88% of those Haas avocados, and Florida produces about 12% of other different varieties. You might be thinking, why should I be consuming this fruit? that is green and soft and, you know, has a weird texture. Well, some health benefits with avocados is that they are low in sugar and they are high in fiber. So it's a great snack to have or in addition to your meal. It's also high levels of vitamin C and vitamin E. It's low on the glycemic index, so it's great for somebody with diabetes or someone who's trying to keep those blood sugars low. Also, there's high levels of plant sterols in them, and this can help maintain healthy cholesterol levels. And there's also a bunch of antioxidants in them, which can help protect your eyes, which can minimize macular degeneration. Now, one serving of an avocado, which is about a third of an avocado, it's about 80 calories and you get about six grams of fat, three grams of fiber, and also 20 vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients in them. Now avocados are mainly composed of fats, but it's the good fat. It's called monounsaturated fatty acids or what we call them our MUFAs. Now don't be afraid to eat fat this fat is a good fat. Like I stated previously in the other slide is that avocados contain those plant sterols um, which help your cholesterol level. So even though this is a fat, it is a healthy fat, a good fat, and it will help your cholesterol levels. Now, since this is a high source of fat, it does enhance the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins such as vitamin A, E, 
D and K. Now half of an avocado produces 345 milligrams of potassium. That is more than a banana, which I know a lot of people think if I need potassium, I eat a banana. Avocado is just as good and even better. Sodium is low, which is great if you are watching your salt or sodium intake. It only has about 5.5 milligrams. It does have a good amount of magnesium, which is good for your muscles, about 20 milligrams. And like I stated earlier, half of an avocado has about six grams of fiber, which is a very fibrous snack. Lots of antioxidant properties, which help in your cells. So vitamin C, it's about six milligrams in half of an avocado. And vitamin E is about 1.34 milligrams in half of an avocado. Now you might be thinking, how am I gonna eat these avocados? You know, I just don't wanna eat it like the girl in the other video, or in the other picture. There are ways. I personally eat avocado every day on toast and I top it with some tomatoes or as seen here in the picture, you can put an egg on it. Sometimes I do that. And then I usually top it with some arugula, salt and pepper. You can add avocado to your salads. You can also make an avocado smoothie. And the most used with avocado is guacamole. Fun fact is on the Super Bowl, about 80% of the US's avocados are sold just for the Super Bowl in that entire year. Pretty cool. You can also make a hummus and you can also add it to your sandwiches you can either smush it on your bread um, or you can also just cut it up and stick it in your sandwich. Here's our two recipes that I personally enjoy. We have an avocado smoothie, which involves a avocado, your milk of choice. I personally like coconut milk or an almond milk, adding some vanilla extract, maple syrup, and some salt. When you blend it all up, it gives it a nice creamy, smooth texture. And I think when you give put some coconut milk in there, it gives a little bit more fat and it kind of makes it taste like a smoothie milkshake. It's very good. Next is one of my favorite salads that I like to make, especially in the summertime. And it is an avocado, cucumber, tomato, summer salad. So it involves tomatoes, cucumber, red onion, avocados, olive oil, lemon juice, some fresh cilantro, salt and pepper. You just kind of mix them all together, toss them up, and you have yourself a nice little salad which has a nice little savory, also sweet, um, that onion flavor, and also that creamy texture from the avocado. I hope that you enjoy these two recipes and you have learned a little bit about avocado and you start to incorporate it or at least try it in your next meal. Thank you. Introducing broccoli, a delicious superfood. I'm gonna share with you all today some reasons why you should be sure to include broccoli in your diet. Before we get started, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Dana Lemke. I'm a dietetic intern at UChicago Medicine Ingalls Memorial Hospital. Did you know broccoli contains more vitamin C than an orange? If you consume just a half cup of cooked broccoli, you'll be getting 57% of the daily value of vitamin C. If you prefer raw broccoli, that's fine too. 
if you have a half cup, you will be getting 43% of the daily value of vitamin C. The truth is, vitamin C is found in many different groups of vegetables, not just broccoli. Vitamin C is important for your immune function, and it also helps your body to absorb iron in plant-based foods that you eat. is part of the brassica family, meaning it is a cruciferous vegetable. There are many other cruciferous vegetables out there. Cauliflower, cabbage, kale, bok choy, collard greens, kohlrabi, and Brussels sprouts. Which one of these is your favorite? Cruciferous vegetables, or in other words, members of the brassica family, have been studied for their cancer protective effects. Basically, this means that research has shown that a high intake of cruciferous vegetables is associated with a lower risk of some types of cancers, specifically lung and colorectal cancer. All right, trivia time. Can you guess what other nutrients broccoli is high in? A, fiber, B, vitamin K, C, iron, or D, all of the above. If you guess all of the above, you're right. Broccoli is full of an awesome nutrient called fiber. Fiber aids in digestion by increasing the bulk of stool and helping bowel movements to be more regular. Fiber also aids in heart health by reducing the amount of LDL or bad cholesterol in the blood. Another great benefit of fiber is that it helps to reduce blood sugar levels. Vitamin K is another awesome nutrient in broccoli. Vitamin K is important for blood clotting, bone metabolism, and regulating blood calcium levels. Basically, vitamin K works with calcium in your body to help build strong bones. And lastly, we have iron. Iron carries oxygen to the tissues of your body. So be sure to eat this awesome superfood, broccoli, with all of its amazing health benefits. You can try it raw, steamed, roasted, or my favorite, in pasta.
Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new about broccoli and I hope you have a wonderful day.